are contributing fairly. We, we switch roles. I think so far, Matthew has given input because it's a liability uh, exercise. I think I, I seem to be way ahead of the team in terms of what is it that they're looking for. Well, I don't think uh, team dynamics matters that much. I think within a few minutes, uh, the team gels very quickly. And why do you think you will win this? Well, what I'm going to bring to the party is the theoretical side, which is I just want to make sure we cover all the bases, to make sure we touch on all the different liability problems. What do you think is your strategy today to win? I think the strategy today would be similar to yesterday's in terms of following the brief almost step by step. I think we have an advantage there in terms of having a broken background, in terms of having two very knowledgeable writers. The dynamics are very, very competitive. I think that Matthew and Mobedi have almost declared themselves the leader in this exercise, which is creating some conflict. And Azar, coming from the losing team, has taken a bit of a confidence knock. So he is taking a bit of a step back and, and uh, allowing the, the two people from the last task to take the lead. So it will be interesting to see what kind of work they put in together. It's, it's gotten quite heated at times. I don't think there's consensus between Mopedi and, and Matthew. Um, they seem to be going through some kind of power struggle. I think the discussion really went around who was going to be leading the group as the account executive. So I think it's going to be very interesting uh, how this plays out. Both uh, Matthew and Mopedi have a very wide variety of experience and they feel, each of them feel that they should be the leader. I need to be, to operate almost at the MD type of a level, where you have the two subject matter experts delivering the main solution and all you're going to do is put the pieces together because all I want is for them to deliver the best solution that they can deliver. At the end of the day that's the best for them and the best for me and the best for the team. The fact that they have conflict amongst themselves already puts them one step lower down. The MD of a company is one who is as diplomatic as can be, as um, orderly as can be, and puts the pieces together. I believe one of the reasons we lost the task yesterday was because our answer sheet was not necessarily in line with Marcel's marking sheet. I want to say something, but I'm just afraid it's going to be a little controversial, but I'm going to say it anyway. I believe I've got a very wide insurance scope, which the judges don't necessarily have. As an individual, I feel that I'm definitely adding value. Uh, a lot of the solutions this morning and cover requirements that, that have been pointed out were, were mine. Um, there's been a couple of disagreements in the group. I think Azar and I were quite understood on the, on the way we would go forward with we would be presenting what Mopedi seems to be having a major issue with not having her camera time. She's not the easiest person to get, uh, get a point across to. The second task is exciting. It's a litigation risk and we are approaching it from a broker's point of view. The team dynamics are great. Once again, we are put together from different backgrounds and different skills, which is great. In this group, I am the only lady in the group, so that it's, it's a little bit different from the previous task. However, that does not change my input. The relationship with Matthew is, right now, it, it's still okay because I feel that he, he brings valuable input. However, I feel like he wants to just you know, take over and do things his way only without considering input from, from other team members. I think we, we, we stand a good chance to win, but at the same time, I think if we just have one way of looking at things and not um, getting everyone involved in to give a better offering, we, we might compromise ourselves. Welcome. We as leading risk advisory services are privileged to present to you our litigation focused risk analysis of your company Magna Pectora Industries. We've done a thorough risk analysis of your business. We can look at each of your businesses individually. We feel that the following covers are of critical importance. Your public liability, your tenant's liability, your sudden and accidental pollution, statutory legal and defense costs, 
and workmen's compensation cover. We looked at the operating risks and we feel that gradual pollution is a big risk. We also feel that um, spillage of toxic substances could be a big risk. I'll take you through the pricing that they've worked out. The price is very competitive, the rates are very competitive. I'd just like to add as a closing point that we are confident that we have the, the right capabilities, the systems in place. But it's important to realise that as our brokerage, we're not just in the market of flogging insurance products. We, we would like to build a relationship with you and to offer you the right product at the right price that fits your specific risk appetite. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Um, it's, it's very comprehensive. Um, did any of you think to check our social media? Okay, because well, often what you'll find uh, in this day and age is um, you can glean quite a lot of information from Facebook and, and Twitter. And in our case, particularly on our Facebook profile, um, you'll notice that we've been involved in an environmental issue coming out of our agricultural business. I know that you've made some suggestions around um, employment practices liability. Uh, I appreciate that given that we're uh, quite a big employer and, and we're in the, in the mining sector. The, the issue around our FD uh, leaving the business under a cloud, you know, we, we kind of be worried about the CCMA activity as well um, rather than just our personal liability. Okay, well thank you very much. I would recommend that you actually go and uh, check up on the Facebook page uh, about what's, what's been in the press regarding a uh, potential problem on our, on our fertilizer side and if necessary I would uh, suggest you refer it back to the underwriters to consider before you actually put final, final pricing on the table. Thank you very much. Thank Right teams, we're at the end of task two. We've deliberated as to which team have taken honors today, but before we get there, the panel will have a few questions uh, for some of you. Uh, I'll start off with, uh, with you, uh, Voyol. But I'd like to actually start by asking Roxanne about uh, today. You had the advantage as the, the lead, so to speak, in terms of liability. But if you're looking at the other team, what kind of competency or skill do you think you would have benefited from in this exercise? Uh, thank you for the question. I think that I did have a lot of uh, knowledge in terms of the financial lines uh, sector. Um, I do believe in the other team, and um, Mapedi has some great um, uh, casualty experience. And Matthew George, he's also a broker, so I think that that could have assisted in today's team. But given you know the team that we were put in, I think we did a good good job. Uh, and then my question for Walter, looking at the way you worked with everybody else, it seems like on the balance everybody loves to work with you. Do you think the fact that everybody is comfortable working with you, do you see that as an advantage? I wouldn't really see it much as an advantage, but I would um, see it much as people seeing a bit of uh, potential in me. Thank you, Josh. Right, I've got one or two questions. Firstly, if I can go to you, Mopedi. Given the emphasis on teamwork, okay, uh, how, did you, how do you rate your team's performance in your preparation today? Right, the beauty of being a team is the different personalities that you faced with and the different skills that each and every team member brings into place. For today's task, I was very happy that um, I was also in, 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 a, in a group where we all are from different backgrounds. Ideally, it would be nice to work in a team and just not have any conflicts and we all agree on the same thing, that would be perfect. But if you are working with different people and strong personalities, because I believe all of us in the team are, are very, have very strong personalities, therefore you are bound to, to have some conflicts here and there. But I think at the end we, we really did well, putting a good uh, presentation as well as the book notes. Well, okay, then I would go to Matthew. Matthew, you know, you know, should hypothetically there have been conflict. Uh, how would you resolve that conflict? I think fortunately enough, 
everyone in our team are adults. With the conflict that was there, there, I mean, it wasn't anything major, it wasn't anything nasty, it was really differing in opinion, which was spoken through. Okay, my last question is for Zab, perhaps a little bit more controversial. Given the fact that, you know, we have respect, I have respect for your belief that you have broader insurance spectrum knowledge than the judges, uh, I, would, I would like to know how you relate that to the day one mandate. So the bigger context was that each individual judge yesterday had their scope of knowledge. And I come from a very broad one that doesn't necessarily have the in-depth knowledge of any one of the, indi of the individual judges. And that was more around what the comment was around. So there was the comment where I took a much more generic view, adding in two comments that weren't relevant to the specific task. Okay. I have a, a question, if sure. that's okay, for Aaron. Um, you, you mentioned in, uh, in one of the interview sessions uh, that, that you learned from, from your mistake that you made yesterday. Do you feel that you've that you learned from that and that it helped you today? I think uh, it did help me uh, in terms of a better understanding as to when to put on the insurer cap and when to put on the broker cap in that concept, yes. Okay, that leaves us to uh, just comment on the two teams and to basically tell you who the team winners were today. Uh, I will go to the special, uh, specialist risk advisors first. Your uh, presentation was well researched. You basically were on top of uh, your subject matter. I think the one problem that we had was that perhaps you focused more on uh, what coverage was available within the insurance market rather than an analysis or response to what the client's needs were. Uh, obviously you missed uh, the, uh, the Facebook issue where we uh, the press release there, but that doesn't mean that what you produced wasn't adequate. Thank you very much for that. Leading risk advisory services, we believe your proposal, what you put on the table, was substantial. It was, um, it was very detailed and I must really congratulate you in the way that you dealt with it. You also missed the Facebook issue, uh, but you know, you're not alone in that, therefore you are alone. Finally, I would like to also thank both my panel members, specifically Simon Coleman uh, from SHA, who actually provided us with the material for our second class today. And obviously, Buyo Lee, well done and thank you very much for your assistance. Thank you, have a good day.